A popular Rochester landmark turns 95 today. Rochester's Little Theater opened its doors for the first time in 1929. To celebrate nearly 100 years of cinema, the nonprofit has a lot of plans over the next few months. Our Haley Higgins joins us live at the theater. Haley, tell us about the celebration series. Yeah, guys, the little is almost a century old today. That's kind of impressive. For right here, for the past 95 years, they've been serving up American, independent, and also some foreign films. And they've lived through 10 different decades. So to celebrate that long history, the little staff are going to be showing one movie for every decade that this theater has been around. And they're going to be starting this weekend with The Thin Man, a very famous movie from 1934, originally a Apparently, it spurred a whole series after it. And we're going to be going through one decade a month with a one-night-only screening for every single film. The nonprofit is famous for those independent art house type films, and that's actually why it opened, according to staff. It was created in response to the mass production and mass marketing of the entertainment industry as a uh, independent place in response to those uh, darn talking films as well. They wanted to preserve the art of the silent film. Uh, but 95 years later, they've upgraded a little bit, finally, you know, let sound in there, still with that focus on art house and seen as a last battle of alternative films. It's really such a huge accomplishment to be around 95 years. And I think that's a testament to the film community here in Rochester. Such a passionate, smart, educated film base. There's so much history here in the city as well. Um, so it's really just a testament to the support we get from the community and we're ready to, to celebrate. And for members only tonight, there's going to be a big party as well. There's going to be free popcorn, free cake, and two separate free movie screenings. And the little gets to do that because it is supported by its members. It gets to give back to them when possible for these fun events. The members have helped it survive through the Great Depression right when it opened, two world wars, and of course the pandemic. And it still was able to share independent and foreign movies throughout the entire uh, time it's been open. And having just completed some major restorations in the past couple of years. It's not going anywhere anytime soon, as long as there are people out here who want to support it. Wow, what a history. So 1929, The Little has got to be one of the oldest independent movie theaters in the country, right? Yeah, it is. It is one of the oldest art house cinemas in the country, continually operating the entire time. And it's on the U.S. National Historic, Regist Historic Registry as well. Reporting live on East Avenue, Haley Higgins, News 10 NBC Today.